Welcome back to another fun video. In our last adventure, we had a great time exploring the notorious Alcatraz prison, learning its history and even taking a look inside the cells of the most famous escapees. So if you missed it, be sure to check it out. It was really quite interesting. Welcome to the Road Beck and Coles! Today we're continuing our San Francisco sightseeing tour. First up, we're heading to the iconic Pier 39, where we'll grab a quick and mouth-watering lunch before diving into the popular nearby shops. We're at Wipeout Bar and Grill for lunch. Pier 39. Let's go in. Running There's... me and all that already gone in to get a table. Yeah. We were absolutely hangry at this point, so we made a beeline for the first food spot that we spotted, Wipeout. It's this super cool surf themed restaurant with vibrant colours and guess what? The kids were stoked about getting their hands on some delicious fish and chips. What are you excited for, hon? Fish and chips! Massive menu, I have no idea. Like burritos. The nachos were massive. Good thing we decided to share. Everyone loved their lunch and it was a quick but totally awesome choice. Good! There you go. That's a big nacho. Damn. After our delicious big lunch, we're going for a walk to the end of the pier to try and work some of it off. There is a ton of food options, gift stores and all kinds of fun activities to do here. At the end of the pier, there's even a two-storey, double-decker, carousel I've never seen before. And right next door is one of our favourite restaurants, Bubba Gump. We couldn't resist taking a peek inside their awesome gift shop. Just like the other Bubba Gump stores we visited before, they had a fantastic selection of unique souvenirs. And let me tell you, those cool signs caught our eye. We had a tough time choosing one. So we finally agreed on this super vibrant sign. And guess what? They even had Forrest Gump playing at the checkout counter. We all loved it. We had amazing time soaking up the lively vibes at Pier 39. It was absolutely fantastic. We explored a few stores like the Alcatraz gift shop, even got a cute cable car Christmas ornament. The pier has been pretty amazing really. It's been pretty good. Oh yeah, that's only getting busier by the minute. Only in San Francisco. Oh dear lord. How much do they want for their number plates? $15. Oh, yuck. They want way too much for their number plates. Ugh. See these? Look, they got the giant sequoias. How big they drove? $12. That takes a few, that takes a few years though. Yeah, right. Can you buy for me? See ya, there you go. Just for reference, that's that's what a baby sequoia looks like, and you'll see giant ones later. And now we're heading down Fisherman's Wharf to find more fun things to do. So yeah, what it is, Junior, is it's a it's a hoist. So they would hoist up cars on and off ferries, oh. railway cars on and off ferries. That's why there's railway tracks there. So, yeah, pretty incredible. So they will take them off there and then probably put them on another one. Yeah. So they'd hoist them on and off the ferry. Sure. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, so everything around. There were so many awesome market stores to explore and street performers to enjoy. And guess what? We stumbled upon this super famous restaurant called Franciscan, known for hosting tons of celebrity guests. It was such a cool find. Should have come here for lunch. Yeah. yeah. But we're, hey, you're worried about how, spending how much? Have a look at the menu. Yeah. Oh, oh. 100 bucks. 65 dollars hey. for the whole price. Mate, the, their prices are because they have to keep the gold elevator running. Could have got a whole crab. 
Fisherman's Wharf was buzzing with a bunch of super cool vintage cars cruising around, and guess what? We stumbled upon some absolute classics parked right in front of the picturesque Fisherman's Grotto and Aliados. It was the perfect spot for a photo op. We were super excited to see a military ship and a submarine. We were really hoping to take a tour of the submarine, but unfortunately, we just missed out on the last tour of the day. But hey, we still had a great time checking it out. Dylan, with his wealth of knowledge, was able to explain it to our family about the deck guns and how the submarine operates. We even got to see the torpedo hatch, submarine propeller, a massive submarine battery cell, and a depth charger. It was such a cool experience. As soon as it hits its pressure, we were absolutely thrilled when we stumbled upon this incredible game machine museum. We were all so pumped and excited that we could have easily spent hours upon hours in there. It was a total blast. No way. So you can play these. You can play them. No way. Look at this. That's what I'm saying, you can play it. How much? This is sick. 50 cents for one go. 50, what, we got money? Yeah, yeah. cool this is. Right. We're gonna have some fun. Yeah. Hold that. Ready? I'm gonna roll the ball. You gotta bounce too, I right? think. Ah, uh, yeah, bounce. We stumbled upon a treasure trove of classic games we have never laid eyes on before. They even had these ancient music machines that took us way back in time. And get this, they had popper machines too, which some of us found a bit eerie. But let me tell you, it wasn't just the kids that had a blast playing these old machines. We were amazed that we could actually play with the super vintage ones. It was an unforgettable experience. Star Wars fanatic and once he laid eyes on this pinball machine he was absolutely hooked. This is cool, this one.
We also love the Indiana Jones pinball machine. The Museum Mechanique Museum is packed with so many awesome, amazing and exciting things for people of all ages. Did I mention it was free admission? Pretty cool that you only have to pay for the games that you're interested in. My brother Ronnie and I stumbled upon the classic game Time Crisis, the one we used to spend hours playing on our PlayStation. It was like a blast from the past, and of course, we couldn't resist playing it one more time before we had to go. The nostalgia was unreal. Go, go, Step no, on pedal. pedal. Ah. Ah, there you go. Oh yeah, I used to remember this. So I love this game so much. Yeah, I love this game. Before we wrapped up our day at Fisherman's Wharf, we couldn't resist taking a quick happy snap with the iconic sign. On our way back to our hotel, we were absolutely captivated by San Francisco's stunning architecture and charming homes. We even drove up the steep hills and marvelled at how steeply people live. And guess what? We stumbled upon a very special house from a Robin Williams film. Does everyone remember the movie Mrs. Doubtfire? <laughs> so we're at the house that they used in the film. It's pretty cool. We snapped a quick photo and we're on our way. What an unforgettable day. We also recently had an incredible time at the Bridges restaurant where they filmed the awesome Mrs. Doubtfire dinner scene. And we're going to the Bridges what? restaurant. Where is that? Yep. If you'd like to check out our experience there, we will put the link in the description below. Thank you for watching our video and we really do appreciate each and every lovely comment that we receive. It means a lot. See you guys in the next video.